Well, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome your faces back to Slime Rancher. It's been a long time since I've played this game, and the last time was relatively successful, I like to think. We got a lot of things done. This time, we are starting fresh, because it's been a long time since I played Slime Rancher. I think it's only fair that I should probably figure out how to play it again. I've put about five minutes into the save that you can see before you. I went and collected a bunch of pink slimes who will eat pretty much anything. And if you don't know what this game is, well, I'm a rancher on a different planet and I farm slimes, which are these little fellas here. And I don't farm them, well, I farm them specifically, but I, I don't collect something like milk from the slimes. You don't milk a slime. They don't have nipples, you can't milk them. Instead, what you do is you feed them, like so, and then they poop out a plort, which is what that thing is. And then we can take the plort, and apparently the slime, get back in there, you little bugger. And we can go over to this thing, and then we can sell the plort for a little bit of gold. And there's a bunch of different types of plorts for every different type of slime, and they're all worth different amounts of money. So, the goal is to get as many slimes as we can, is to expand the farm that you see before you. Because what we can do is we can activate this, and we can say, you know, let's build a corral, let's build a garden, a coop, a silo, incinerator, or a pond. And using all these different things, we can have different types of slimes, we can grow some plants if we want to, we can have chickens, which actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get some chickens. Because there are a few running about here. We have this guy, we have this guy, we have this little one. And we can go ahead and just throw those into the chicken coop. And that'll keep them relatively happy. And if we find a rooster, we can get a bunch more little chickadoos there as well. So with that in mind, let's just head out. Let's just have a good time. Let's just chill a little bit. I know this is a bit of a weird game to be playing in 2019 because obviously it's it's not necessarily a new game, but Slime Rancher to me has always been really chill. So that's kind of what I enjoy about it. And I've made a point recently of playing a lot of games that I think are just really chill, really fun, really good times, and this is definitely one of them. I've played Slime Rancher a lot over the years. And I just, I saw it in my Steam library, and I was like, you know what, man? I want to go back to Slime Rancher. I want to play more of that. So here we are. If I remember right, though, yeah, here we are. We can get ourselves some rock slimes around here, as well as a bunch of plort. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me, uh, let me, let me see here. I'm going to boot out the chickadoos. Because I want to, oh, I don't want you. Come here. Let me get you out of here. Oh, we need you as well. Absolutely. Give me some phosphor slimes. Oh, I need rid of these carrots too. Fire those out. And fire the pogo fruit out as well. Because there's a lot of different slimes we can get around here. Give me some phosphor plort. Some, oh, I can, uh oh, uh oh, oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, you don't want to deal with tar slimes. Absolutely don't want to deal with tar slimes. Tell you what, let's just head back to our base and we'll not worry too much about the tar slimes. Those are kind of the bad guys and those happen. You might have noticed the, the large slimes. The large slimes are a combination of two different types of, 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 of slime, of, you know, of, of a slime, right? So a rock slime eats a pink plort and it becomes a pink rock slime or a pink rock largo, I think they're actually called. And you can basically breed them like that, sort of. You can have them sort of, you know, become a combination of phosphor and rock, or pink and phosphor, etc., etc., etc. There's a lot of options. And the cool thing you can do with that, because obviously if you feed them the thing that they like, they will give you plort, is you can get two types of plort from a Largo slime, which I think is awesome. Now, if we could get a little bit more money, we could get another ranch plot here. I don't think we need to rush too much into that, though. Let's just go ahead and have a bit of a sleep, because it is a little bit late in the day. Uh, we also have some mail. This game does have a story, by the way. Just in case you are curious. Hi, B. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. 
Seven Z puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? That's the name of the planet. Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. And then the corporation is uh, is welcoming us to the, the ranch as well. I'm not worried about that. Let's just sleep until morning. There we go. And we'll return to the ranch where there's a whole lot of nothing going on, basically. Just a whole lot of nothing. Let's head out and see if we can find some carrots, though, because I want to get some... I want to get some plorts so I can get some money so that I can put the rock slimes away. The phosphor slimes might be slightly trickier since they are going to need a special type of, uh, of corral to actually survive because they can't survive, if I remember right, during the day. Oh, hello. Wait, what can I... Oh, I need to feed you. What can I feed you? Do you want to eat that? No. Oh, if I, I think if I feed you something... Where does that chicken do? Get out of here, you. Come here. Oh, it's gone. I think if I fed that thing... Oh, man. I think if I fed it something... I just realized I just fired that little chickadoo everywhere. I think if I fed it something, I would have got, like, a load of money or something. I don't know. I'm just kind of assuming, to be honest. Let me take you. And let's see. We have some rock plort there. I kind of just want to grab as much plort around here as I can. Because this is kind of a free area for it. And then I can go ahead and sell, you know, all of this. So give me all of that. We still don't have any tars around here, which is good. Give me that. And there's some food there, but I don't think we need it anymore. Oh, we'll take you for sure. There we go. So we're up to five rock slimes. Tell you what, let's continue. Oh, we've got tabby slimes here as well. I forgot that those were a thing. Ow. All right, not bad. Let's just grab the plort that's lying around. We'll head back, we'll sell it, and hopefully have enough money to get another corral. I hear some music. I hear some sinister music. Do we have a tar over there? I think it might just be the piano and the music just playing a bit of a lower note. That's fine. I thought that was sinister. I thought it was time for a tar to be over there. I'm pretty sure there's no way I can fight those either. I think it's generally just run away from them. And also, generally, sincerely, hope that you never have to face them in your own ranch because that is a thing that can happen. If you have a a corral full of Largo slimes and you throw something else in there, like say you have pink rock slimes, pink rock Largos, and you throw, I don't know, phosphor plort in there, oh, you're gonna have a bad time. Gonna have a bad time doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, they could have died. They could have died. We're fine though, everything's fine. I was a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. Let's see here, give me a corral. Let me put some rock slimes in there. And let me see something. So what we need is a solar shield, which is 425. That will help the phosphor slimes to survive. We can also get a plort collector, which will automatically collect the plort, and an auto feeder, which will automatically feed them. Of course, we can't really do anything with that right now because we don't have the money. Also, these guys specifically only want to eat vegetables. These guys will eat anything, though. They're also getting a bit hungry. We should probably figure something out for them. Let's see. Do we have enough to build a garden? No, we need 250. Okay, so we need to get more plort is what that tells me. I think we could probably afford to head out and maybe try and uh, grab a couple of the tabby slimes as well because that'll give us a total of four different types of slime. And then we just need to feed them, collect the plort, sell it, and hope that we can get four different corrals as well. Let me take you as well. Because I will put the chickadoo, yeah, those haven't grown yet. I will put the chickadoo into the little coop that we have. Also, that's a gordo over there. That type of slime, that giant, that absolute absolute unit of a slime that's a gordo let's see let me take you please oh man <laughs> that's not fair get out of here get out of here you have we got any more tabbies around here i really wanted that one oh we have chickens though absolutely 
Uh, let me see. I don't need you. I want the plort that's lying around. Because this is kind of just a free area for it. So absolutely don't mind if I do. Uh, give me that chickadoo. Do we have... Oh, there's what we need. Get rid of you. Wait, did, did one of them just eat that rooster? Oh my god, they did. Okay. <laughs> kind of really needed that, but sure. That's, that's, that's fine, I guess. Really needed that rooster, because then I can start getting more chickens back at home, but... All right, to each their own, I suppose. To each their own. Let's see, am I missing anything? Is there... There is some food there. But I kind of want these chickadoos, so I think we're fine. Tell you what, let's ditch this uh, pink slime. We really don't need you. And one last little look up and down here, let's see. There is... Not any tabby slimes. Okay. We'll head through here. I'm pretty sure this does lead somewhere I can get to right now. There are areas on the map that I can't get to at the minute. Because I need to unlock them. There's parts of the ranch that I can expand. We've also got tabby slimes. Give me those. Give me those tabby slimes. Don't eat that chicken. Oh, I can't pick up that chicken. Never mind. Come here, you. All right. What can we ditch? What can we ditch? I'll tell you what. We can't afford to get the, keep those things. So I'm going to have to... um. They're, they're going to have to uh, suffer in the direct sunlight, unfortunately. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they can survive in shadows. I... Okay, should you not be exploding or dying or something right about now? I could swear that's what the phosphor slimes do. But I've been wrong before. Okay, he just killed himself. Well, that's dark. That's... That's... Wow. All right. Phosphor Slime just threw himself into the water. And that was the end of Phosphor Slime. Fair enough. We also have mail from Thora West. Fair enough. Well, I've got my Tabby Slimes, which is going to bring us up to three total types of slime, but that's actually okay. The Tabby Slimes, unfortunately, are devious. They are, they are tricky to deal with because they like to climb. They're obviously cats, so... We're going to want to probably keep that in mind. They're devious little things. And they're absolute pains in the butt to keep, uh, to keep under control. But we do have 20 pink plort and 2 tabby plort. So we should, maybe, be able to make enough money to maybe get another corral and maybe upgrade it. I say maybe upgrade it because I'm pretty sure the upgrades needed for tabbies is going to be like... 500 gold so we'll see we're getting 24 for this though which is good and then eight for each of these which is kind of okay so there we go 376 gold coins i think that's enough to get us another corral so it absolutely is we'll purchase that the tabbies can go in there they're probably gonna be a nightmare to keep but that's fine the chickadoos can go in here and I'm going to take you three and feed you to the tabbies. Or not. Are they going to eat them? Hold on, come here. Are you hungry? You guys hungry, huh? Here, have that. Thank you. You have that one. And you have that one. I'm only feeding three of... Oh, no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Get back in there. I know you're hungry. No, 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 no. I... Right. You know what? You know what? You know what? Nope. We're not doing this. I do not need Pink Tabby Largos. Do not need them. Stay in your corral, Pink Slimes. Okay? Stay in here. I will go get you food. Alright? I'm waiting on the crops growing. Same with you. You stay in there too. This is what I mean. They're, they're deep. Like, that's not even the Tabbies, right? That's just the Pink Slimes being devious. If that's how they behave, imagine what the tabbies are going to do. Basically, what I need to do here is get high walls and all of this. That's that's kind of where we're at. We need high walls, and we need to feed them regularly, which is why we need gardens. So we're going to have to go out here and hope that some of the crops have grown again. Because if they haven't... Well, my slimes are not going to be pleased. There's some vegetables there, which is good. That'll do for the uh, the rock slimes. The fruit here will deal with the... That'll deal with the, the pink slimes. 
We have more carrots there, which will be good for the rock slimes and probably pink slimes as well. So there we go. We have more fruit here as well, which will be good for the pink slimes. And then the tabbies are going to be fed chicken. All right. They get fed chicken, hopefully, hopefully kind of regularly. We'll find out. Plenty of plort lying around there. Actually looks like some carrots lying around there too. And some fruit too. So that's good. Let's, oh my God. Let's try and get that before I get horribly murdered by a uh, pink rock largo there. Anything around here I should be aware of? Any types of, uh, any chickens that I could have? Other than the chickadoos, which, sure. I'll take those. I'm also thinking I might get rid of the pink plort for the time being, because I'm going to be able to get plenty of that in my own a little bit later on. So we'll not stress too much about that. We have more chickadoos down here. We have stony chicks down here. So we have stony chickadoos, which is interesting. I'm not seeing any full-grown chicks around here, but I guess full-grown chicks are chickens, but you know what I mean. Uh, I really want that carrot. Really want that carrot. Thank you. I also don't know what this is. I'll have a look at those at some point, though, because it actually looks like, ooh, yeah, I can totally climb up here. All right, well, let's grab this carrot and let's head on a little adventure because I'm pretty sure this takes us to one of the first spots that's blocked. I'm also pretty sure, yeah, we have a tabby gordo in there with a treasure pod next to it. But if I'm not mistaken, we can follow this around and it gets a little bit dangerous because we have some rather annoyed slimes, if I remember right. Maybe not. I always thought there were annoyed slimes there. I guess not. There's a sign. Okay. And it looks like this actually goes to a dead end. I I thought this went to an opening. I guess it technically does. It's just not open right now. So what do we need to open this? Requires a slime key. Okay, so I guess what we need to do is feed a bunch of chicken to the tabby gordo back there. Then the tabby gordo will give us a key which will let us open that door that's what i'm assuming happens there so basically a tabby gordo is just a giant uh giant slime that's essentially it that's all it is also you can you can live there now that's fine i have a bunch of chickadoos i have a stony chick or a few of those bunch of carrots bunch of fruit that's actually pretty much perfect for what we needed back on the uh back on the ranch so we'll head back that way. I guess we can look at the mail. Hopefully get some decent money off of all the plort that we have. And then maybe start upgrading things a little bit. Or rather maybe start getting ourselves some gardens. Because those are actually really essential. So hopefully that's the thing we can do. Let me just pick up some more pogo fruit there. Because that'll be really, really useful. We actually have more carrots there too. They've just regrown, which is a pain because I actually really want to keep the stony chicks and the chicken days. So I guess we're not getting those this time. No fruit on that bush. That's fine. There's no carrots over there. There are carrots there though. And there's fruit up there too and carrots there too and over there. Oh, we need to come back out here real quick. We need to go feed everything. We need to put these chicks away. Then we need to go get more food. Also, one of my pink slimes has escaped and is eating my chickens. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for that, bud. All right, you can get back in there is what you can do. Let me um, let me feed a few of you. Oh, these guys want vegetables too. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh, -oh. uh -oh. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Fire those over there. No, 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 not like this, not like this, you get back in there, and you get back in there, and you, and you, don't you dare, no, don't you dare, <laughs> get back in there, no, 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 ah, damn it, right, get out of here, <laughs> oh, man, this is not going well, get down from there, <laughs> Don't go eat my chickens! Don't eat my chickens! No! <laughs> it's 
stop eating my chickens! <laughs> stop eating my chickens, man! Here. Here. Right, so they're happy. Ow. He's happy. You're happy. Anyone else hungry in there? It's kind of hard to tell. You keep... Are you hungry? You're hungry. Alright, give me that plort. Give me that plort. Give me the plort because the pink slimes want it. Give me the plort! Good lord, man. These pink slimes. Let me go sell this. Oh my god. This is... It's like trying to herd cats. It just doesn't work. Alright, you. Get back here. What are you doing over there, you silly thing? You here... You here as well. I understand. Like I know the pink. No, 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 no. Not the chickens. Leave the chickens alone. Get in there. All right. Here's fruit. All right. But uh, chill. Just chill. All right. Just chill. Uh, we need a. We need some gardens. We need to start growing some stuff here. So I need a garden here. On which we're gonna grow pogo fruit. And then we need one there, but we need more money for that, so. I guess. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Don't be doing it, Tabbies. We're not missing one. We're fine. Alright. Uh, I need all this plort. So. I guess we need to boot one of the chick- like, all the chickadoos up in here. Actually, here. Let's get you guys in here. And that'll hopefully make that work. I realize the stony chicks are still on the outside. Because I had to fire those across the farm. Not really sure where they've all got to. I'm going to be honest. They are very small. I'm thinking that's probably one. It is. So we're still missing one. Which I fear may have wandered off the edge of my ranch. So... Two out of three ain't bad. Oh my god, come here. Get back here. And you get back here too. And give me that. This is getting out of hand, Pink Slimes. This is getting out of hand. Alright? You're starting to really annoy me. I've had enough of this nonsense. Give me that. Need to go set- wait, can I have two stacks of Pink Plort? Absolutely not, okay. Let's go sell all of this. That'll get me some money. And then hopefully we can actually upgrade the uh, corral with the pink slimes. So that they can't climb over it. That's not going to stop the rock slimes and the tabby slimes from escaping. But it'll at least stop the pink slimes from escaping constantly. And we can actually just put them back into their corral as well. We probably want to get an auto feeder as well. But we don't have enough food to do that I don't think. So I think we'll just go for the the old high walls or like a, a net on top of it or something like that. So let's see. We have 297. I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough. It's 425 for an air net. And then high walls are 350. So 350 is probably what we want, right? So what do we do for like how do we how do we Oh, you know what? I'm going to spend more money over here actually. We're going to do this so we can get another garden and start growing carrots. That way we can keep feeding them. Because right now feeding them is sort of our struggle. There you go. Give them that plort. Thank you very much. All right. Let's make sure they're all being fed. And then you in the corner. There you go. Uh, one of them didn't plort there. I think... Yeah, I just cheated myself out of a plort. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Pretty sure these are kind of valuable though, so. Sell a few of those for 25 each. I missed one. Wait, what? Loading market prices. Oh, it's a new day! Oh, they just went down! No! <laughs> That's not fair, man. Alright, 144 is okay, I guess. Can we upgrade this? We can. We actually can. Okay. We probably want to do that at some point. Because the chickens keep getting eaten by my slimes. Let's also see what this is. So, from Thora West. Hi there, Beatrix. The name is Thora West. I'll keep my introduction short and account that we all got work to do. 
I'm a longtime rancher here on the Far Far Range and head of the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The Range Exchange is a network of ranchers like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slimes, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the Range Exchange machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. Okay. We can do that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's the Range Exchange right there. So if we were to say, uh, let's see. Uh, so help me out and I'll make sure you get what's owed. So you want that in exchange for that. Fair enough. And we get 30 minutes. No, 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 Get back in there. They're getting hungry. Do we have, uh, we do have food for them. Okay. We don't have enough food for them, I don't think. But we have food for them. So that's fine. Pretty sure... I wonder if I should cut down on the number of slimes I have. I feel like the pink ones aren't worth, it's not worth keeping this many. So let's go and see what we can do here. So let's, let's figure out how many pink slimes we have. So I can hold 20, which means we have 21. Okay, okay. Let's do, um, let's figure this out. We have 21. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that leaves me 12. No. Get those two out of here as well. We're going to have 10 of them. And just for those curious about where I'm firing the other ones to, I'm firing them exactly where you think I'm firing them. I'm, I'm firing them out of the ranch. That's It's not a pleasant life for them, but uh, let's, you know, they didn't really have a choice anyway. Uh, let's feed you guys so that you're all happy and plorting all over the place. There you go. This will hopefully be a good start to today because I'm thinking I mean you guys are hungry but that's okay we'll feed you in a second we can give you guys carrots because the pink slimes will eat anything anyway and that'll give us hopefully my my hope here is I can get enough to get high walls and I'm starting to think now that we've cut down to the pink slimes we can probably just do high walls on the tabby enclosure because they're the ones that are gonna be super hungry anyway because we don't have enough chickens to feed all of them although i suppose what we could do is if we breed the tabbies and the pink plorts or the pink slimes they'll eat anything although if you give them what they really like which i think with tabbies by the way oh we have roosters interesting i think if you give a tabby slime a stony hen that's like their favorite thing i think they give you two plorts it is, absolutely. So that's a thing you can do. If you give a slime their favorite food, they'll give you two plorts. That's kind of got me tempted to, um, I, I'm still tempted to breed them with the pink ones though so they can eat anything. Or it might actually be worth breeding them with the stone, the, the, the rock slimes because then the plorts are more valuable. Because like I mentioned, a, a large slime will give you two plorts at all times. It'll be one, you know, from one from each, basically. So a tabby rock slime would give you tabby and rock plort. That kind of has me thinking that it might not be a bad idea. I think, no, we can't afford, we can't afford anything yet. Uh, let me see. Can I give, like, any of you guys a carrot? Yeah, there we go. And you're hungry too. So give me that and give me that. And then I think I've got enough for the high walls, which is exactly what we want on the tabby enclosure. So sell those, we have 392, that's perfect. We have a chicken here, interesting. Let's fire you in there. In fact, I think we have enough chickens to feed the tabbies. I think we have enough. We have a, uh, we have a stony hen there. Let's actually keep the stony hens and do a regular chicken instead. Get back in there. So we'll do one. Oh, well that's just teasing them. One, two, three, and four. So that'll keep them happy, which is beautiful news. Put them back in the enclosure, and then upgrade the enclosure to have high walls. So now they can't jump out of there, which is exactly what we want to avoid them doing. These guys still can, but that's okay. 
And then over here, we can just sell the Tappy Plort and we're good to go. So 134 gold coins, three enclosures, two gardens, and a chicken coop, I think, is a pretty solid start. We just have a lot of work to do, and I think some decisions to make on these guys, because they're little monsters. They are little monsters, and I think it might be worth breeding them with the rock slimes. I guess we'll find out.